Right, hello. Um, welcome to our double shot tutorial. Uh, for, sorry if this is a bit patchy and all that, <coughs> but we both have not done this before. Cable will be covering most of it. I will chime in at most accurate, like accuracy-based things, and some other parts. But most of this will be cables. Um, video on the more end of practice-wise, etc. Since he's a bit more experienced. Anyway, down to you, cable. Okay, so first some useless history. Skip part. Skip this part if you feel like it. Uh, basically, around before 2018, uh, it was patched. Um, really, it was easier to do than now. If it seems hard to do it, that's why they uh, made it like more finicky, more janky. Uh, but they added it back around a bit before March of 2018. Um, so, if it seems hard, that's why. But just some useless history in case you were interested. So, uh, to the most important thing, if you're new to using the bow. Uh, I would recommend you start single shotting rather than double shotting. Actually, uh, a lot of people don't recommend this, um, but they always should because when you're starting out, you're always really awkward with the bow. I know this from very deep experience. Uh, most people, if you look at them shoot the bow like level threes and they're shooting like like this, there's a reason for that. They're not. They're probably new to VR, um, which you might be. Uh, if you're not, you can skip this part, but um, you're probably more awkward than you think you are because you need it to be natural. You want it to feel like throwing a ball. Um, so just completely natural to you. Um, it's nothing like weird or crazy. It, it should just be very familiar movement shooting this bow. So you want a single shot to do that because the double shot, you can't do that. You really don't want to do that. It's very bad. Uh, your double shot's going to suck. Uh, it's going to be, your eyes are going to be like 10 feet apart. Uh, at that point, you're just wasting your time. You're not going to go anywhere with that. Uh, and how the double shot works just for uh, later on. Um, basically, the method you're going to be doing it at is you're going to be pulling it back and then pressing it again at the very peak. <clears throat> As you pull it back, you're going to want to press it again. If you don't do it fast enough, though, you're just going to do nothing. <clears throat> uh, it's just going to not work. Uh, the reason for that is if, you ever, if you've ever seen someone extendo, this is what it's called. If, it's called the extendo glitch. Basically, you can if you drop and let go of a weapon, you can extendo it and grab other parts of it. And you can make it go even further if you quickly pull it back and then press it again uh that's because it doesn't register your hand moving away from the hitbox because the game server suck um and that's exactly how the double shot works so you pull it back press it again just like extendo uh then how to practice with it with the single shot with the bow in general not double shot yet not, not, not there yet uh you're basically just want to go into something like uh Probably first thing you want to do actually is shoot at a wall, get more comfortable with it. Once you're comfortable with it enough to play Golden Trophy with it, uh, try and play with Golden Trophy regularly. Um, there was very low skill retention, so if you stop playing for like a day, it's going to take a few hours for you to get back to speed. So I recommend you try doing it uh, every day if you can. Uh, it doesn't need to be long, probably just like an hour a day at this point. But um, you just want to get close to goblins, and uh, you want to shoot them. Don't have to go fast or anything. Uh, if you want to get better, I'd recommend soloing. There's solo tutorials for Golden Trophy and all that. I'd recommend you go check those out. But you want to go close to the enemy uh, so you can actually hit them. Uh, as you keep playing, you're going to get better and better, and you're just going to want to get further and further away from the enemy until your single shot's better and more accurate. And eventually, you're probably going to want to get to a point where this is going to build you up um, kind of uh instinct shooting if you don't know what that is it's basically where you hold the arrow you just know that it's on target and you fire you just know from your instinct um or depth that's what you're going to be building up that's what what you say or it can be called depth of field or depth of view knowing yeah. knowing where you're going so knowing from where not many people can do it very well but knowing say if i shoot my arrow i know it has a slight arc and it'll go down a small amount from where I aimed it from, etc. But uh, eventually, you're gonna get to a point where the arrow is so far that you uh, that's not gonna work that well. So basically, just quick tip: if you want to aim with the bow, I'd recommend holding it. Uh, I personally hold it diagonally. You can hold it horizontally if you want. If you're holding it vertically, this doesn't work really work that well. Uh, you can probably find your own methods for it, or you can get used to it. I never did, but uh, you just want to kind of go with the arrow and then aim with your arrow. So like aim with the head and then go a bit lower. And you're going to be more likely to hit that target. All right, all right. Well, um, me... So again, if you didn't get it, go a bit slower. Uh, you're going to want to aim. Uh, I'm going to aim there. You're going to want to aim with the arrow. You'll notice it's going a bit high. You want to lower it a bit. 
then fire. Still take my, my, like, also um, and then you'll get better and better as that goes on. But mostly, you want to work on the instinct shooting because if you're shooting a bow, uh, you're probably gonna get to the point where you're going fast. You're not gonna be able to actually aim every single arrow. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Now, you want to get to do all this until you're extremely comfortable with single shot. Like you can, that's a good time. Uh, if you're playing on, Revan, Revan, I need your help with this. Yeah, I'm coming then. <laughs> Okay, so say say singling or soloing golden trophy. Uh, what's a good time you could like start double shotting with singling golden trophy, what's with single shot, like soloing it? Or what's a good time for getting with it? Like single shot, like I'd say probably sub, sub ten. No, like sub twelve maybe for single shot, like on teleport to start double shotting. Yeah. Like sub twelve and then on teleport, and if you're on walk, probably like sub fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen, fifteen, something like that. Yeah. Uh, which probably sounds a little bit crazy, I guess, for now. And no glitches. No glitches. I want this run to be completely glitchless. But, um, yeah, it's, it's probably a big ass for you right now, but... It's probably a big ass for you right now, but, uh, it's gonna really prepare you for the double shot. All right, so you, uh, now how to start time. double shooting. Huh? It is intermediate time. Uh, That's intermediate time. So once you got this down... Uh, you want to actually start double shotting. Crazy, I know. We've already been doing this tutorial for like five minutes and we just started getting to the actual tutorial. Um, so, when you're double shotting, you want to do the exact same thing you did for a single shot. You're going to want to, well, first of all, you're going to want to pull back, press it twice. Probably want to shoot at a wall first. Uh, it's not going to look the best. It's not going to look the best. It's going to be like, probably like five feet apart arrows if you're shooting at like a semi like mid distance uh it's perfectly fine uh that's where most people start just remember the more you play the faster you'll progress uh the more you do uh active smart practice think smarter not harder uh you're gonna get there faster but basically uh you're gonna want to do the exactly the exact same thing you did for a single shot you're gonna go close to your enemies double shot them and then as you get keep getting better and better and more comfortable and comfortable with the double shot, because remember, you don't have to shoot fast. Um, you have to you're just gonna want to back up from your enemies. Uh, you know, just get better at shooting further away until you can shoot fairly well. Um, I'd say a good time uh, you can start doing the other stuff, getting a little bit more advanced with it, is uh, probably uh, sub nine on teleport, and then sub like ten on walk. 10, 11. Yeah. This is some good sub 9. Uh, not that hard. Probably for you, will be. But uh, you don't really have to focus. If, you, if you're fine with where you're at, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to get any better at this point. You're probably already um, better than like 50% of uh, bow people. <laughs> or people that try to use the bow. And you're better than most of the game at this point. So uh, congratulations. Uh, you don't need to go any further. But if you do, you got to start working on your balance ratios. Um, Revan, uh, if you'd like to explain that. My, my old man muscles. Oh. <laughs> anyway, right. Oh, man. So balance ratios is how your double shot is. Uh, so a balance ratio, I'll use... Also, also, before we go on, if you don't know what a ratio is, don't look it up. Click off this video. I don't need people under 13 on my channel. Or my Keep channel. Keep going. In it. Yeah, so yeah, true, true. basically a ratio will be how much of each your uh, so which is more more reliant on. So say my double shot is more accuracy reliant on its ratio, his is more speed. Skipper, skipper, I'll use him as an example, has a near perfect, not perfect perfect, but near perfect ratio where his speed doesn't interrupt his you accuracy. Basically, uh, accuracy you should aspire speed. to get skipper's ratio, basically. That's like what you should really be going for. Um, along with the issue of... Oh, fuck. Sorry, not the issue. Um, along with this being... Yeah, okay, we're fine. Um, along with the having a ratio, you're... It's easy, it's better to have a ratio which is more accuracy reliant than speed reliant because at least you'll know you'll be able to hit your shots. But at the same time, that can also be bad because say if you have more 
add your silver line and you try go fast, you're double short. So looking at this, it's it's good. yeah, it's not gonna work. But then, uh, and you do need to go fast for things. Like if you're trying to do a golden trophy speed run with barrels, barrels aren't gonna be fun for you if you're not fast. But like if you wanna work, if your speed, if you're heavily speed reliant, this is what your double shot's gonna look like, and it's gonna be all over the place. Accuracy would be rendered the same if you try go for speed. Speed if you. Yeah. Oh, and don't don't stress don't stress too much about getting it perfect perfect like skippers. It's really unnecessary. Uh, if you can just get them, basically. Just if you can shoot, if you can go to a PVP room, and you can shoot people from like a mid distance, going as fast as you're going, you and you're hitting to like about this, you're on a good way. If they're landing at least like I don't know, three or four feet next to each other, you can get something like that. You don't need to push it to an extreme where you get something like. Whether that's that's for later on. Just don't don't stress getting it if too far, like guys. Landing all in like this, you don't need to push it push it to that much of an extreme. But kind of stick to an extreme, kind of stick to where they're at least landing nearest to each other. Anyway, back around we yeah. go. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Um, I'll tar I'll do the accuracy part as well. A good way to target the prac, uh, getting good with your accuracy. But I'm gonna use golden as an example because I was the most. Um, hold on. You're gonna wanna start double shotting like this in golden. So you wanna go as far away from the enemy as you can, and you're gonna wanna start shooting only two. Pulling back, like so. And then, if you can hit an enemy in two shots, and if you can't, you want to keep working until you can do that to the point where you can go and hit every shot. So once you've done that, this will also help ex uh, help with your arrow spread since it is more arrow spread reliant than, say, spamming. So if you were to shoot one. See, your arrow spread can get to a point like that if you actually practice enough, like this, etc. Um, if you want to start combining speed into it, you can just start pulling back faster. Just start pulling back faster and faster. Oh, sorry, grab the camera there. Uh, if you're at this point, though, if you're at this point, I would highly recommend uh, probably not trying both. I, I, if you're trying to practice speed and accuracy, probably don't practice them both at the same time if you're at this point. Yeah, um, just stick to practicing one, then practice the other. So, yeah. If you want, you can actually probably create like a weekly thing. So if you're getting on every single day, you can probably like, like say you do three days uh, accuracy, three days speed, then probably one day you can take a day off or something, or you can test both. Like you can create yeah. a little test for yourself. Uh, so this is so even for someone like me, if I was to go for both at once, someone who's focused on accuracy, even though I am pretty versed in a bow. My double shot if I go for trying speed more than accuracy or trying to practice them both at the same time, it goes really spread out. Compared yeah, to and the benefit of speed. having a uh, spread going for speed while you're not as accurate, you can go faster with that accuracy because you're still accurate, you're just not as accurate, but you're still going faster. Yeah. Now, one, that's better for PvPs because you can do more DPS. Yeah. Uh, so two, you look cooler. Yeah. You look way cooler. But just to clarify, don't try push yourself to getting arrow spread with lands really close to each other. It never really works out because your double shot will just become something for show. Yeah, because no. hold on. If, if you give it, it... Hold on, let me give it... I can give it like a perfect example for this. So, if you look at me, you don't have to shoot as fast as this, but like with your current speed, just make it look something like this. Or like... Not this accurate, but you get the point. Yeah, something along this, maybe a bit more spacing between the shots. Yeah, and that's well. and that's me going like pretty fast, right? But if you look at me shooting as fast as I physically can, like if I like really push myself to shoot fast, it's like fuck it. Oh, I'm grabbing this shit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. It looks like you see, it starts becoming a lot less consistent, etc., etc. <laughs> Less consistent, uh, things aren't really working out. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, it just doesn't really work that well. Oh, so if you shoot your most accurate, you're only gonna. You're, yeah, your shots are gonna land, like, right next to each other every time. If you're playing something like a PvP, accuracy is a big factor, but if you're not shooting fast enough, then you're not gonna be doing any damage, because also remember, in PvP, if you're doing accuracy, that's great. Accuracy is very important, but. Accuracy is not always gonna work out. It's like a thing that. You can't really rely on accuracy. You can't rely on. 
Just because the game PvP is servers change, hitboxes in this game are weird. Yeah. It's really something that you just can't rely on. Uh, so we're going to more move on to speed now. Uh, Cable, you can take this one. Okay, so um, if you're just starting to target speed, a thing I'd recommend, just go into Crimson and start rapid firing things. The benefit of this, it's very fun and very tiring. <laughs> So basically, you just want to go into Crimson, and instead of actually like precisely, or even Golden, I guess, but Crimson's better for this. Uh, you don't like instead of aiming your shots, you really just want to like look in their general direction, and then just fire as fast as you can in a good manner, not like what I was doing before. Because if you see as you shoot this fist, you want it to be consistent. Basically, if you shoot, if you fuck, as you saw me shooting as fast as I physically could, it was really inconsistent and like weird. That's because the game can't really keep up with that. And it probably won't for you either, um, because like your finger can't keep up with your arm or your back, uh, and it becomes this really weird mess because your things probably aren't going to be perfect. Like, one of your fingers is probably is going to be faster than your arm, or your arm is going to be faster than your finger. It's going to be weird. So you need to find a balance for that too. Uh, so try and be controlled while you shoot fast. But other than that, just like shoot as fast as you can into those group of enemies. Uh, and once you get more into, uh, see that, do that enough. If you really want to target speed, uh, or if you're trying to spam, this won't work on your overall, like, actually pulling back the arrow. But if you're trying to spam fire, and you want to get less time between your two arrows, so, like, if you shoot an arrow, and then you shoot another arrow, you want to decrease that time to spam faster. Mic so off. a good thing you can do is, again, off. don't aim, but you probably want to, go, want to go closer to the enemies. Or you can aim, if you want. If you want to practice your accuracy a little bit, you can do that, too. Uh, you can shoot two arrows, like two double shots, as fast as you can. So like, one, two. As fast as you physically can. It's probably going to look weird. You're most likely going to get one or two lagged arrows every time you do it. But that's going to extremely decrease your time between spamming. Or like, between the arrows you fire. You will see crazy improvements from this, I promise. I certainly fucking did. And uh, that's the thing about practicing speed. It's way more fun. It's more physical based rather than mentally based. So if that's your thing, like me, you're gonna love speed. <laughs> but remember also focus on your accuracy too. That's fucking hella important. Okay, Revan, I need you for this part. Mic on. Mic feedback on. I'm gonna let Revan explain this part because he knows the more recent people. I only know old people because I'm old in this game, uh, so is my... who to watch, it's who to watch, basically, who to watch for double shotters, who you should try and surpass for motivation, and, um, also try and, like, maybe copy things that they do, uh, like, habits they do with their double shot, you know, kind of, yeah. So I'm gonna Good. do a list of two people to surpass, a PvP list and a kind of... Quest um, list. No, yeah, or PvP like and Archer quest list. list. So the first, so we're gonna do PvP first. The for motivation to surpass, you're gonna to want to surpass people like Cable, Eli, uh, Skipper, Myron, and I'm gonna put myself here as a person you'd want to try surpass. And and oh, sorry. And for people to watch to get better PvP, you've got people Eli. Myron has quite a few. I few videos on it i also have a few videos on boba if you wanna if you wanna try and watch me play good luck uh if you can do it i highly commend you um he finding a video of me videos. double shotting is virtually impossible yeah but you can find people like myra and me pretty openly um who else is decent to watch a pvp I would say Nightmare, but you're not going to find any clips of him. So that's mainly like the PvP people, I guess. Um, for Quest, you're you're going to watch people like, if you're a walk mode player, Ticky Tack and Golden Fishy are two really good people to watch. Uh, for Teleport, you're going to do Skipper. If uh, you want to you wanna speed on Golden Trophy and get good routes, probably study Cyclic shit. Yeah, if you want to get, if you're more speed doing, watch Cyclic. But if you want to be more balanced, watch Skipper, Kami, Myron again, 
Snake. You're not gonna find much on Snake either. Um, you're not gonna find anything on Snake. Who else? You're gonna find less on Snake than me. Who else is good? You could Probably watch uh, just... some Bothaya, but it's not gonna be very helpful. No, I wouldn't. Uh, maybe if you're like starting out, um, Bothaya is a lot of easier Pepe, shots to accomplish. Pepe. You you want to watch Pepe? Pepe is Pepe's really good. Um, that's about it. Uh, those are all people you want to surpass as well, and people on the speedrun.com list. There are also people you want to go surpass. Warning, the chances of you surpassing these people are very low, but just as motivation, watch these people and try to become better than them. Uh, yeah. People have done it. People have done it. That's how most people like start yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. No. Um. Like I originally started out trying to be better than both Aya. I originally started out trying to be better than Cable. Not even gonna lie there. <laughs> and then uh, Aquifer was also a big influence on me. Aquifer was also a big influence on me, but very later on. You're not gonna find anything on him. You're not gonna find anything on him. Yeah, he does not have a single. The only videos he has him double showing is his Crimson and Golden runs, but he's very bad in those videos. Like that he's is... he. It's years and years ago. Yeah, th this is like oh. I don't know. This was before double shotting was very mainstream. So yeah, it was. Those to, videos were three years ago. You're gonna to want to try either getting to fight him or just trying to play golden with him because he does get on usually every weekend to play on a Saturday or Sunday. If I if I remember correctly. Time for him to get pissed at us. Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's gonna message us both in like five uh, five minutes after. <laughs> <laughs> now, but, another uh, thing you can do with these guys is you can get from their styles feel free to ask them how they shoot they will most likely happily oblige yeah i will basically uh you want to look for things this is what he did with me actually recently uh <laughs> just look for little things to shoot like personally i shoot vertically uh with the bow i barely move it and then with my right hand, I move it this way, and I slightly bend my hand so I don't have to pull it back. And I pull it back in like an anchor point motion, as if you're shooting a real bow, but I pull it to the front of my shoulder. Yeah. And that's exactly how I shoot. I shoot practically the same, so there's no point in me showing it. So does Aquifer to an extent. Yeah, but then there's, there's like people like... The, Aquifer does the exact same thing with the bow. He probably moves it less than I do, though. And he uses his hand like this, so it's more like vertical. Yeah. Um. Uh, but then there's people different, like... Uh, the people shoot horizontally. A lot of people like barely move their right hand and they just only move their bow hand. Yeah. And that works for them. Just do whatever's comfortable for you, really. Um, yeah. If you want some insights, a uh, lot of people, some people find vertical more accurate. Uh, I personally find vertical to be faster. And some people find it the other way around. Yeah. So, I and would... if, anyone, if anyone tells you that one hand's better than the other, d do not listen to them for anything with the bow, ever, ever. Oh yeah, no. It doesn't. Myron uses a completely different hand to half, like more than ninety percent of the community, but he's still better than ninety percent of the community. So it does not yeah. matter. Um. So I'm gonna cover a really quick one: is how to tweak your style. This is not gonna be very fast. And so you're gonna want to start off how you're doing, and you just want to kind of change how you're doing things. Say uh, you shoot like this, and then you want to change your hand like this. You want to practice like this for maybe two days, see if it works or not, and then go back to your original. And then you just want to keep doing that of like you're pulling what different direction you are. I've went through. What I wouldn't recommend, what I highly wouldn't recommend is doing something for 30 minutes and then saying that it doesn't work for me. I don't like it. That's not going to work. Was if a... you've ever played Beat Saber and you're changing your on Beat Saber, it's exactly like that. You want to do it for a while uh, and then see if it doesn't work for I you. Was, um... Usually shooting a different way is like something you just need to get more comfortable with, really. So I've went through, I don't know, about 10 different ways of shooting. Horizontal, slightly horizontal, vertical, etc., etc., all that kind of thing. I, I used to shoot like this. I've been changing mine recently. Yeah, no, I've been I'm shooting to... more vertical than usual because I used to shoot like slightly horizontal. Yeah, I'm starting to shoot slightly horizontal, but um, that's kind of a very basic one. Arrow spread, we've already kind of covered that. Tips for speed and accuracy, we've also covered that. Micro no, no, there's, certain things for, there's certain things for like speed, like uh, for example, the bent hand. Uh, what that can do is. Because basically with speed, two things you're going to want to focus on in speed are uh, shooting how fast you can shoot for, like, how far you can, not far, how fast you can, like, shoot the two arrows themselves. And if you're spamming, how fast you can shoot, like, how much you can reduce the time between arrows shot. 
So like, for example, if you can bend your hand, again, that doesn't work for you, that's fine. It's not that much of a, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but that way you don't have to pull it back as far. Um, especially if you're shooting vertical, it feels like you need to pull it back further than uh, you do normally. Other things you can do, you can find out which arm, like you can move faster. So like if your left hand moves faster than your right hand, like if you're shooting horizontal, what a lot of people like to do is they like to move their elbow straight and then in, then straight as they shoot. So it looks like that. And they like barely move their right hand. And that works. Uh, if, if you're shooting vertically though, it's really awkward and uncomfortable, but again, works for you, that's fine. Um, if you're, uh, if you're shooting diagonal, um, you can kind of do the bend hand thing, just not as vertically. You can do it this way. But again, just do whatever works for you, honestly. Uh, everybody's different in a sense. Nobody's Nobody actually shoots completely the same than the other. All right. uh, and tips for accuracy, um, for single shooting, uh, one of the things you can do is... Uh, one, oh, well, first, tips for speed, actually. If you go into your settings and go to gameplay and turn off stabilized hands, uh, it makes you faster. Uh, and then if you go into speed, or, and then if for tips for accuracy, uh, turn stabilized hands on, and then that will help your accuracy. Uh, very, it's not the biggest deal, but it's definitely noticeable. So if you ever want to, if you're like me and you like micromanaging everything to be perfect, then uh, you can mess with that. And then another yeah. tip for accuracy is if you're single shooting, uh, you can pull the arrow to your shoulder and rest your hand a bit on your shoulder, and that keeps your right hand completely steady. And you can aim perfectly, like how I just hit Revan's face. And then, <clears throat> and then for double shot, you can kind of have your bow and just imagine an arrow there hitting your opponent or your enemy or whatever, and then you can just kind of shoot there. Um, this does take a bit of practice to do, but I would recommend it, especially if you're like if you like burst shooting often, which is basically where you shoot aim, shoot, it's basically where you aim your double shots. Uh, it's good for P teleport PvP if you're like that, or the person just isn't moving much. It's a good skill to have. Yeah. Alright, so um, we're going to speed this up a bit because I've not got much time. But micromanaging and side practice. Micromanaging's already kind of been covered, but just th changing the little things to get it to a perfection point, like he just mentioned, like changing your settings, yeah. etc. You don't need to do it. I personally have not done it much, but he has. Side practice is more just kind of practicing whenever you can. So, so for example, actually, a thing you can do is playing Golden Trophy, but with weighted wrists. I've never done that myself, but I've heard somebody do it. Uh, basically, yeah. it makes it, 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 it works your muscles, basically, because that is a thing that you don't really need to get into, but <clears throat> you can into, and I'd recommend you do functional training for that kind of thing. So, for example, if you have a bow and arrow, IRL, you can shoot that bow and arrow, and it'll make you, like, it'll uh, make you go faster because you're stronger in that area. Um, and you can have weighted wristbands that makes your arms heavier, therefore harder to shoot. Uh, and if you're just doing random stuff with friends, like if you're trying to do the weekly and you're waiting because you like doing AFK stuff, you can play, you can be in the game and just do nothing, but like just sit there. And I like to call this shadow archery, where you basically just do the motion, but without a bow. And yeah. This is just going to make you better at the movement in general. Um, and again, if you, a good warm up also, you can do this as practice, but this is also a good warm up, just shooting at. Just getting a bow and shooting at the wall is another yeah. really good one. Alright, well, that's the tutorial over. This is about 30 minutes long. Jesus. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is hopefully watching. going to be the most in-depth uh, double shot tutorial ever made. Alright. Disappear, 